before this, I first when I first got into Genesis Works, I was really shy, as people can see when I first joined Castle at Hell. And then after that, I learned about professionalism, and then I learned more about a bit more about IT from Genesis Works. And then before I joined Castle at Health, I actually thought that when I grew up, I would actually be a robot. I would just do what everyone wanted me to do and be quiet and all shy. But then once I joined Castle at Health, and then I was told to do some tasks, such as troubleshooting, making sure that the projectors worked in conference rooms and make sure everything was running, I knew that I wasn't going to be a robot because I had a lot to ask. The reason why we had to do these things such as distribution list and what's the difference between distribution list and exchange mail and word. And then I remember the first time when I first came in Cast at Health and I met and shook Zach's hand. I was really sweaty and I was really nervous after Stephanie left. And then Zach noticed this and brought me to the server room and said, if I'm ever nervous or anything, just come in here and relax. And I took that offer sometimes. <laughs> From the point where I first started working as an intern for Castlight Health to right now, I learned a lot from my team. For example, Zach taught me about how to be relaxed and not rush at all anything because rushing can make mistakes. And then for Mark, I learned about troubleshooting and doing everything step by step. If I skip a step, I would mess up or that could have been the step that could have fixed the problem. And then I would have went took in all the time that I could have had to do something else for that one thing that I could have fixed earlier, such as fixing a monitor in here when I skipped one step about checking the HDMI cord, such as that wire right there, <laughs> the white one. I skipped that task of switching it, and that was actually the problem, and I wasted a lot of time on that. And I also learned from Eddie that it's okay to make mistakes, but I need to build on my confidence. When I was in him with the server room when he first joined, I did, I did a command for Eddie and because he wanted to teach me and I thought I messed up because nothing was appearing. And I told Eddie, oh, I think I messed up. Here, you can try it. And Eddie was like, no, 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 you did it perfectly. It's just that you didn't have access to the firewall to co make a copy about it. And other people that taught me how to do things for Castside Health was Glenn Wyatt, Zach Bren, and Scott Monroe. Zach Bren taught me about how to do FedEx shipping labels, how to do onboarding procedures for MacBook Airs that I never thought it was. And it was like Mark's thing. Step by step, you have to do everything in order or else there won't be a mistake. For Glenn Wyatt, when I first joined, I was really shy and everyone noticed this, as I said before. For Glenn, he, every time I didn't know anything about what the ticket was given that someone requested, he would assign it to me and have me ask questions about the ticket and then go with me to fix the problem even though I knew nothing so that I could learn and be as calm because he taught me if you're panicking and you're trying to help someone, they'll panic too and not know the problem. So keeping calm will always help me. And for Scott Monroe, he taught me the, he brought me back to the basic of step by step because I've been kind of going out of step by step. And then when I went to him about troubleshooting one more, uh, troubleshooting about not being able to print, I told him the basics like they're logged in, they have access to green, no, not, not green for smartphone. Then he told me that it was the Wi Fi that was the problem. You have to be connected to the credentials of Greensford. And I didn't know that until I had to double check with him. And besides that, that's most of the basic things I learned, but I learned more, such as taking apart MacBook Pros, which I'm still scared of because I might break something. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned how to troubleshoot and talk and communicate with people who need help instead of being shy and talking in a low voice. And I've also learned how to keep pace with myself because I've noticed I've sometimes overworked myself and been tired and tired, like, been tired after maybe an hour and like crash and work slowly after that and that's bad pacement. And then I also learned, as I talked with Stephanie before, about animation. When I need conference room 
like try to fix it and someone's in there, I have to animate that I need to go in there and try to get them to <laughs> go. And then after that, what I plan for the future is to go into a two-year college named Diablo Valley Community College and then get, get the basic education I need to go and transfer to UC San Diego and become and get the major of electrical engineering for computer hardware because I'm really interested in making new things. And one of the things I really want to make was when I would talk to Mark about it, about having dual monitors and how you need this one piece and you have to use two ports. I want to try to make one port for it. And also I want to know more and get more in depth with computers. And thank you all for coming here today and hearing my speech.